Café Chersan. I'm Logan Tittle, and you're watching HuffPost Live. There's no other way to start this story except by saying this is bananas. Freely, a self-proclaimed diet guru from Australia, credits her lean figure to eating as many as 51 bananas a day. That means over three bananas every hour you're awake if you sleep eight hours a day. The fruit-loving fitness fanatic says she follows a high-carb, low-fat vegan diet that consists mainly of fruit. She eats 2,000 to 5,000 calories a day and doesn't eat anything cooked or heated until after 4 p.m. This, she says, has helped her shed 40 pounds over the years. Freely boasts about the benefits of her banana-blasted diet on her site with success stories and an e-book detailing her regimen. But she isn't getting much support from health professionals. Having a raw vegan diet can come with a lot of health benefits if it's managed the right way. Freely's diet is criticized for lacking sufficient sources of vitamin B12, calcium, zinc, and iron. Its lack of portion control also has many dietitians questioning how much weight loss is really possible. We've seen some crazy health trends recently. The Huffington Post featured numerous trends that might be worth letting go this year. These included the paleo diet, made up of all the things a caveman would eat, the ever-popular juicing, and extreme obstacle-filled runs like the Warrior Dash and the Tough Mudder, which can increase an athlete's risk of injury. Hey, Fruit Bats, it's Frilly the Banana Girl here. Welcome to another episode. So the other morning I woke up and there's all these newspaper articles online about me on sites like mailonline.co.uk, which is like this huge English online um, newspaper website. You know, it's talking all about my diet and how I eat 51 bananas a day, how it's extreme, everything like that. This particular article, as you can see there, had 5,772 shares, and that's only in like two days, over 600 comments. So yeah, it's pretty controversial with people. You know, the, the articles are pretty, th I mean, this one in particular is pretty thorough and it's not completely inaccurate, but there's definitely some things that are not true. But I was happy with the coverage because any sort of attention we can bring to this lifestyle, the better really, because a lot of people don't know about it and they don't understand it. Hence the questions that we get down the bottom here. Some of them are a little bit crazy, but some of them are, you know, fair enough. I would be asking the same question if I heard about this extreme fruit diet. So the first one does wine count as fruit? No, it doesn't. The next one here, I bet she's on the loo a lot. That got 2,203 likes. Am I on the loo all the time? No, I'm not. But I, I do go to the toilet, I do poop about twice a day. And you know, that's part of the reason why my stomach is so super flat. Because I don't have all this buildup, all this backup in my colon, like people who are eating meat and dairy products, for instance, because they are fiberless foods. The foods I eat are full of water, full of fiber, and they move through the colon really nice and freely. You know, they move through quickly. Unfortunately, in this society, if you go to the toilet any more than once a week, if you poop any more than once a week, it's considered living on the loo. And that is simply not true because it's healthy. You know, your colon's meant to be efficient. They're meant to eliminate what is in there, not leave it stagnant, sitting around so it can fester. The next comment is about potassium. Sure that, surely that many bananas would cause a heart attack. No. If that was the case, then I would have had numerous heart attacks by now. I'd probably be dead if that was the case. So according to the World Health Organization, around 17 million people die every single year around the world from cardiovascular disease, heart disease, and stroke in particular. I'm sure those people aren't smashing in the bananas. You know, these are people sitting around eating the meat and dairy, not the bananas. Okay, we need a high potassium diet. We need a minimum of 4,800 milligrams, ideally 5,000 milligrams a day for optimal health. And most of America, for instance, and Australia is chronically potassium deficient. So bananas are perfect for that. So for someone of my size, which is approximately 52 kilos, I would have to eat about 318 bananas in 30 seconds to reach a lethal dose of potassium. Okay, I can eat a lot. I can eat 51 bananas in one day, but no, I cannot eat 318 bananas in 30 seconds because the kidneys are efficient at excreting the excess potassium. So you do not have to worry about that unless you're in hospital with renal failure and you're pretty much on death's door, if that's the case. Another great thing about potassium is it helps the body flush excess sodium water retention and it, it leans you right out. So you've got to pack in the potassium, pack in the bananas to get lean. And don't forget, it's also called the beauty mineral. So if you want to be more beautiful, eat more bananas. So the Huffington Post are basically saying that this was an extreme diet 
and it's an eating disorder. And I agree, it is an extremely awesome diet. It gives you extremely good results and it helps you transform your body into an extremely fit, healthy, lean physique. Who doesn't want that? I know I have never been the same since taking up this extreme diet. It has changed my life so, so much. Extreme is not being able to run 100 meters with your kids without getting out of breath and having to use an asthma puffer. Extreme is taking 10 different medications and then dealing with side effects like seizures, brain swelling, anal bleeding, loss of eyesight. Extreme is being cut open on the operating table, having your insides exposed to stale hospital air to get your arteries unblocked from your poor diet. Extreme is forking out thousands of dollars on pharmaceuticals, doctor's visit, hospital visits, when you don't have to. Extreme is having your breasts removed unnecessarily, then having the doctor tell you, sorry, it's spread. Extreme is giving blood every month the rest of your life because you have hemochromatosis and don't want to change your diet. Extreme is taking Viagra to get a heart on because the diet you're eating is restricting blood flow and oxygen to your penis. But eating plant foods is fucking extreme. Yeah, right. Dealing with all the things I mentioned and not changing your diet is extreme. For me, an eating disorder means you're eating foods that give you heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and kill you prematurely. That, my friends, is an eating disorder. So whenever you say you're vegan, you get that B12 comment. Everyone says, oh, you better watch out for your B12 if you're vegan. But, for example, recent studies have indicated that about 40% of Americans are B12 deficient. And you and I both know that 40% of America is not following a raw vegan or a vegan diet. So the truth is anyone can get a B12 deficiency regardless of what diet you're eating. Therefore, we recommend everyone supplements with B12. You know, you can be eating steak for breakfast and still be B12 deficient. It has a lot to do with absorption, about um, cobalt in the soil, and a lot of other reasons. You can read about it on my blog. As far as calcium deficiency goes on a vegan diet, it's never ever been recorded in medical history, so it's no problem at all. So another big myth is that vegans have iron deficiency problems more than meat eaters. Think about cows. Where do cows get their iron? They get their iron from plants, and so do we. Iron is not a problem on this lifestyle. Eat enough calories from fruits and vegetables, get enough rest, and look into the other reasons why you might be iron deficient, which can be other lifestyle factors. You know, if I had an iron deficiency, I wouldn't be able to run a sub 20 minute 5k. I wouldn't be as fit, healthy and vibrant as I am. So the proof is in the banana pudding, folks, not in the theory. You know, it always like disappoints me when people comment on the lifestyle with such conviction, you know, so against it, even though they've never tried it, they don't know anything about it, but their opinion is so strong against it. My advice is to try it before you knock it because you will start to feel amazing on this lifestyle if you give it long enough. Okay, fruit bats, so that's my video for today. I will see you in a couple of days. If you want to see more of us in the mainstream media, then definitely give this video a thumbs up and help us spread the message. Okay, have a great day. Don't forget to go fruit or root yourself. See you soon. Banana girl.